we go. Here's one. Not a bad one to start us off, I think. Feels decent. Not bad. Not huge, but not, not too bad. I've been in a major funk out in the surf lately, so this is a nice boost of confidence. Well, that's not a bad one, probably about 12, 11, 12 inches or so. Good way to start us off, we'll let this guy go. What's up guys, back at you with another surf fishing video out here. As you can tell, not ideal weather. On the way over here, it was just dumping rain pretty much the whole way. And actually right now, right now it's not too bad. It's like a really, really heavy fog. I'm sure the rain will come back. So I'll probably have to throw this camera back in the bag and we're gonna rock the GoPro for a while. But just wanna give a quick intro. I've been, oh. Never mind. thought I had a bite. Anyway, I've been in a little bit of a slump lately out in the surf. The fish are definitely around. I've been seeing other people catch fish and some big ones too. So uh, I'm excited to get in on the action. We're starting off with some sand crabs here and hoping to find some fish. Might try some other stuff, but we're gonna start off with the sand crab. So let's get out there. We already got one. See how many more we can get. All right guys, show you really quick what we're using here. It's a fish finder setup. A little two ounce pyramid sinker slider with a bead to stop that from going over the swivel here. And then our swivel and about a three foot liter to our J hook. And on this hook, we're putting these little sand crabs. A lot of people have asked me how, you hook, how I hook these. And I don't think it really matters that much, but for me, just like to keep it simple, right through the shell, just like that. Keep that hook nice and exposed. So when the fish comes by, perch are notorious bait sealers. So I like to keep that hook exposed give you every opportunity to hook the fish. There we go, there's one. Another one on the sand crab. It feels like another decent one. Whenever I'm bringing in a fish, you never want to fight against the wave, always going with it. And there you go. This one is actually a red tail surf perch. So you can see my sand crab right there. Here in California, you got several different types of surf perch. I think the two most common ones are barred, like that first one I caught, and on red tail, which is this one here. I'm gonna let him go. Hopes of catching some bigger ones. All right, not a bad way to start, and I still have my bait, so we're gonna throw that one back out there. See if we can get two fish with one bait. There we go, there's another one. Always want to go with the wave, never against it. When you go against it, that's when you create more drag and that give that fish more opportunity to either spit the hook or come off. There we go, there's another bard. All the ones we've caught so far are about the same size, about 11 inches or so. We'll get this guy back really quick. And that was that same bait as the last one. Two fish, one bait, not too bad. We'll get this guy back. It's gonna be a constant battle today with the rain and keeping this lens clean. So you guys are gonna have to bear with me. Unfortunately, there's probably going to be some places where there's definitely some water on the screen, but we'll work with it. All right, guys, I gave the sand crab a shot for a little while. Now I'm going to give the gulp sand, sandworm a shot, see if it has any better luck, find some bigger fish. So the nice thing about this sandworm is I can use it on the exact same setup that I was fishing the sand crabs with. And I just thread the sandworm on the bottom there, just like that. And we're just gonna work it in and out of the surf zone here. See if these fish are on the sandworm bite as well. One thing that's nice about the sandworm is it stays on the hook a lot better than the sand crab. You know, those fish can pick at it, pick at it, and that sandworm will still be on there for quite a while. Whereas the sand crab, pretty much one bite and it's gonna be either mangled or completely gone, so. 
hoping that this can enable us to catch a few more fish. There's one. First cast. Doesn't feel like a bad one. All right, another red tail here on the sandworm. First cast, that's a good sign. It's been a while since I've caught a red tail on my channel. And the way you can tell a red tail from the bard is obviously they have red tail here. But the dead giveaway is this top dorsal fin here. And if you can see when it's fully engaged, fully up in there, it's got a pointed tip. You can see the tip there, very pointed as opposed to the bard. You just have one straight across there. And that's a dead giveaway that's a red tail. And it's important to note, because here in California, these have to be 10 and a half inches uh, in order to keep, whereas the bard, there's no minimum size limit. So knowing how to tell the species apart, very important. And that's the dead giveaway right there. We'll get this one back. There it goes. Back to the surf. Let's keep that and see if we can get a big one. Wow, look at that. Even crabs like the camo sandworm apparently. Ouch. That guy's pretty flexible. Look at that. You can get his claw all the way around to the top up here. But anyway, I think that's like a kelp crab or something. Hmm. Interesting catch. Not what we're looking for. Get him back. There we go. There's another one. Little guy. Oh, real little guy. Third species of the day. I think this is a silver surf perch. Smallest one. We'll get him back. Alright guys. I caught a few on the uh, sand worm, but I'm going to switch back over to the sand crab and talk a little bit about sand crabs here. So sand crabs are a native species to pretty much any sandy beach. You can find them all the way up and down the California coast. And uh, they're one of the natural forages for these surf perch. And I'm going to show you guys how to catch them if you want to use them for bait for yourself. So if you want to catch these, the best thing I can give, best advice I can give you is to get a little net from your bait shop, a little bait net. And you want one with the holes that are big enough to where the sand will go through, but not too big where the sand crabs will fall through. So basically it's like a little filter. Uh, when the water goes in and out, you'll be able to catch sand crabs. So I'll leave a link in the description below for one that you can get on Amazon. Highly recommend it. It's only like 10 bucks and it's gonna make your life just a million times easier out here. But even if you don't have one of those nets, you can still catch them. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. All right guys, so even if you don't have a net, all you need to do is kick up a little sand and those sand crabs will come out and you just got to pick them up before they can get back into the sand. So basically all you want to do is wait for a wave to come up like this, let the water come up and then kick up a little bit of sand as the wave's going down and you'll see these come flying out. I don't know if you can see that there, all over the place here. There's one. We'll just wash off the sand. And there you go. There's the sand crab. So as far as sand crabs go, I really like using them out here in the surf for two reasons. One is they're obviously they're free. You don't even worry about spending any money on bait. And two, they're the natural forage out here. They're what naturally occurs and what these uh, striped bass and surf perch are feeding on. So you can't can't complain there. You're matching the hatch perfectly, and uh, it's one of the most productive baits out here in the surf. So. I'm gonna go ahead and put a few of these on and uh, see if we can catch one more surf perch to close out this video. There we go, there's one. I just uh, switched back over to the sand crabs. I wasn't getting much action on the sandworm anymore. And instantly we're hooked up with another surf perch here. Feels like a decent one. It's fighting pretty good in the wave here. baby oh yeah that's a good one all right biggest one of the day so far all right guys 
Best one of the day so far. There's a nice little surf perch there, probably about, I'd say, 13 inches or so, maybe about a pound and a half, maybe a little less, a little more, who knows. Nice, healthy little surf perch there. Keep us going, and uh, we're gonna get back out there, because I think there's more, more out there. Rain's starting to come down a little bit harder now, so it's probably ruining the uh, shot, but that's all right, we're gonna make it happen anyway. We got our sand crab on here, the ones we just, like, just like the ones we just dug up right here in the sand and we're just gonna see if we can get one of these perch one more just need one more good one to uh, finish off this video there we go there's another one on the sand crab the ones that we just caught right here in the sand. Feels like a decent one. There we go. All right guys, there's our last fish there on the sand crab. And uh, leave a comment below if you like this idea of video. We've got plenty of more uh, things we can forage for, as forage for in terms of bait. So uh, let me know if you like this one, you wanna see more like it. Other than that, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next adventure. Later.